We have a surprise uh, speaker here. Uh, it's Clyde Paulus. I want you to be uh, nice, like you always are. This gentleman uh, wants to uh, give his uh, point of view on the situation, and perhaps it will add to uh, the resolution on this uh, issue. Thanks, and welcome, Clyde Paulus. Well, I want to, first off, thank the fellers for letting me have my say. It's just my say. We're a big community, Six Nations, as is Caledonia. Our fight is not with Caledonia and its residents. It's not with Canadians. Our fight is with Canada, the government, Ontario, government. That's where we need to stay focused on, it, is the government in action, as you've heard them say. Yes, it's frustrating after 19 months. Very frustrating. But you know what? My people have been with it for generations. We're frustrated too. We are frustrated. And our people's voices need to be heard. Yes, they need to be heard. You want to know what's happening in negotiations? No. I'll tell you. No. We presented facts, documents, used Canada's own documents, told Canada. 30 days, produce yours. That was two weeks. It's gone. They have no documents. They're lying to you. I don't know how to say it. I don't know how to get past this. I'm not the one to do it. People can get past it, but the government has to stand up and take responsibility, as that's where it lies it, with the governments. My government, as well as yours. We talk law, yes. Canada's constitution says they honor pre-confederation treaty. That's Six Nations. I got a treaty says two roll wampum, nation to nation. That's what we are. Is that not law? Yes, it is. Very much so. We stand for law, yes. And we don't support violence. Our chiefs are the oldest, oldest democratic society on earth our Confederacy. The U.S. modeled their role of government after ours, as well as the U.N. So, yes, we do exist, and we will continue to exist. So, I feel for a lot of the families, I've talked to a lot of the people here. People know, I've talked with them. They know where our heads are at and where our chiefs are at. We're not about violence. It's not. It's not the violence we need. It's, like the man said, terrorists. Well, how come it is when an Indian stands up for his land, being encroached upon, he's a terrorist? How come? If the U.S. invades Canada, I'm sure as heck Canada's going to stand up and say no. That's the same thing, what's happened to my people. Since this was deeded to us, granted, for our services as allies in the wars. We have now less than 4% of our land left. Yes, we are gonna stand in. Yes, we want ours. Unfortunately, sir, I know my history. And I would like to see your government's documents because they don't have them. We've asked for them. Thank you. I understand your frustrations, but uh, the man had the courage to speak, so let's uh, uh, treat him with uh, respect and dignity. Thanks very much. Okay, we have uh, many, many signs over here as we march over to uh, Sterling. Anybody who wants to uh, pick up a sign is welcome to do so. Just make sure uh, we get them back because uh, we hate to make new ones every single time we do something. <laughs> 